एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन द फ्रिक्शन को इफिशियंट बिटवीन रोड एंड द टायर ऑफ अ व्हीकल इज फोर बाई थ्री फाइंड द मैक्सिमम इंक्लाइन द रोड मे हैव सो दैट वंस हार्ड ब्रेक्स आर अप्लाइड एंड द व्हील स्टार्ट स्किडिंग द व्हीकल गोइंग डाउन एट ए स्पीड ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आवर इज स्टॉप्ड विद इन फाइव मीटर इनिशियल स्पीड यू ऑफ द कार इज थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आवर विच वेन कन्वर्टेड टू मीटर पर सेकेंड टर्न आउट टू बी टेन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड द डिसप्लेसमेंट बिफोर स्टॉपिंग इज फाइव मीटर From Newton's equation of motion, we have v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s. Putting the values, we get 0 is equal to 100 plus 2 a into 5. Simplifying, we get a is equal to minus 10 meter per second square. Let us assume that the angle of inclination of the road is theta. Now let us draw the free body diagram of the car. Gravitational force of m g is acting in vertically downward direction. The component of gravitational force along the incline is mg sin theta, and that perpendicular to the incline is mg cos theta. Normal contact force from the road acts on tires in direction perpendicular to the incline. Friction force of magnitude mu times normal will act up along the incline, and the acceleration of the car is a up the incline. Since there is no acceleration in the direction perpendicular to the incline, n must be equal to mg cos theta. Writing the equation of motion along the incline, we get mu one minus mg sine theta is equal to m a. Putting the values of the normal and acceleration, we get mu mg cos theta minus mg sine theta is equal to 10 m. Dividing both sides by m, we get mu g cos theta minus g sine theta is equal to 10. Putting the value of mu as 4 by 3 and g as 10, we get 4 by 3 into 10 cos theta minus 10 sine theta is equal to 10. Simplifying, we get 4 cos theta minus 3 sine theta is equal to 3. Dividing both sides by 5, we get 4 by 5 into cos theta minus 3 by 5 into sine theta is equal to 3 by 5. We know that 4 by 5 is equal to sine 53 degree, 3 by 5 is equal to cos 53 degree, and 3 by 5 is also sine 37 degrees. Putting the values, we get sine 53 degree into cos theta. Minus cos 53 degree into sine theta is equal to sine 37 degree, which implies sine 53 degree minus theta is equal to sine 37 degree. This implies 53 degree minus theta is equal to 37 degree, or theta is equal to 16 degrees. This is our answer. In order to request solution to any question from H C M R M A book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.